The more you look at life, the more you know that there is a purpose for life. When you look at our world 2,000 years ago, how this planet Earth was, and what the planet Earth is today, you will know that human beings are here for a reason. God sent us here to accomplish a purpose. We are not animals. You see, when God created the world, there were no roads, there were no cars. But human beings, successive human beings have come to the world. They've contributed their own quota to the development of planet Earth. And so now the question is, what is your own quota? What contribution are you going to make to the development of planet Earth? Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the King of glory, the mighty God of Israel, the almighty God of heaven and earth, have sent me to you with a word to encourage you, to inspire you, to bless you, to motivate you. This morning I pray as you listen, the Lord God Almighty will bless you. He will make a way for you. He will give you divine idea, divine idea, divine ability, and easy way to make a success of your life in every area. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. When you look at planet Earth, like I said, you are going to find out that God has a purpose. And when I look in the animal kingdom, animals are coming and going. But the jungle remains the same. When you look at the sea, fishes are coming and going. But the rivers and the oceans remain the same. But man came into this world. Successive man is coming and going. But man has not left planet Earth the same. Planet Earth has seen a lot of changes. Planet Earth has seen a lot of development. Planet Earth has seen a lot of action from the man. Man has taken this planet Earth, turned it around. And you see, man is awesome. When you look at planet Earth 10,000 years ago, and you look at what it is today, you will know that planet Earth has experienced tremendous changes as a result of the visit of man to, to planet Earth. Now, if man is that powerful, that man have turned the planet Earth to this condition of almost paradise that it is, it means that every man has got a purpose. It means there is something you also came to do. It makes us to know that we also must have an assignment. I must have an assignment. There must be something I have, I have been sent to, to put in planet Earth. If somebody came and by the time he left, he left the idea of airplane. Somebody came and by the time he left, he left the idea of computer. And these ideas they left is making life easy for man on planet Earth today. You must have a reason. There must be a reason why you are sent. Have you found the reason and the purpose for which he sent you? Jesus Christ, our Lord, said, I have come in the volume of book it is written of me to do thy will, O Lord. Paul said, Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. He said, Necessity is laid unto me, and I must preach the gospel. He knew the purpose for which he came. The reason, one of the reasons why I came is to send this to you every day. I cannot but do this. This is one of the overriding factors of my life. Have you discovered a purpose? Do you know why you are here? What are you here to contribute? Are you to contribute to your family? Or to, you are, you are here to contribute to your state or to your nation? Or you are here to contribute to the whole world? There is a reason why you are here. You must search and find it out. When you find it out and you begin to pursue it, success begins. There cannot be any success in any man's life who has not discovered the purpose for which he came. 
And this is what the Lord put in my mouth to speak to you. That you must think and you must ask. You must ask God, God, show me your purpose. Show me your way. Let your will be done in my life. I am ready to do your will, O Lord. Let this be your prayer. This is what God sent this morning. Thank you for listening. You are able to hear this because faithful partners always stand by me. God bless the partners. You can be among the partners by contributing whatever you have. If you had this anywhere and you have a WhatsApp, you want me to send this to you directly on WhatsApp, just save my number with I Prevail. My number is plus 27740302381. If you have any counseling problem or question and you want me to answer that kind of a problem, just call or WhatsApp this number plus 2778. 408-8047. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to be a partner, WhatsApp that first number and say partner. I will tell you how you can be a partner or you want to sow a seed. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga of the Prevailing Church of Christ, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed. <laughs>